we play different coverages versus different formations. Mm -hmm. So right now, when their receivers come in motion, we're going to sky, sky. So now we're playing our true cover three defense. Okay. You see, I'm talking to Bobby. I'm pointing right there to see the motion yep. coming. See the motion coming. You always yep. got to talk pre-snap keys, because if you wait too late, then that's how you get those big yardage on you. So this is uh, like a fly sweep motion, right, mm -hmm. Bob? So if you, everybody's doing this. Like yeah. multiple motions now, right? You got ghost, you got fly, you got all this motion. Is it all designed to take your eyes off the prize? It's all, it's all getting your eyes. Right now, when they get this motion, we all bumping over a gap. I'm bumping over, Bobby's bumping over. What you gotta do is stay focused on your keys. What is your key here, KJ? Like, what are you keying on? Pre-snap, I'm looking at the receiver, and when he comes, you see that tight end? Mm -hmm. He's going out to B-Mac. I know that when that tight end goes out, I gotta be inside that tight end. Because that tackle's coming for you. So when he hands this ball off, this is just my gap. I'm not doing anything special. I'm just spinning my gap. We're all tied on the string right here. Are you locating the ball? Do you actually see the handoff? Or are you just reading your keys? I'm reading my keys. Yeah. And once he comes here, I'm just spinning in my gap. And if he does happen to mm -hmm. hand the ball off, great. If he hands it to the running back, we're fine as well, because everyone's gapped right. out. Well, this is exactly what you want to do. You yeah. want to flatten that sweep, man. Easy. It's, mean, it's real easy. If team just fit it up right, it's, mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a no play. It's a right here, Grunk's mm -hmm. tight end, he's my key. My gap is the D gap. Once I see Grunk block, once you see it, you gotta shoot it. That's just shrinking the hole, yep. just shrinking the field. This guy's going, playing fast. When our defense is one back, one gap, everyone has a responsibility. You see, we call this a crunch play. And what you're supposed to do as a linebacker, tell the double teaming on our nose right there. As a linebacker, you gotta shoot this gap right now to take that double team sure. off of them, or they'll constantly drive them off the ball. Of course, but I mean, if you stay back right now, that's what they want. They wanna drive him, yeah. the down man, into your lap. Yep. So you take the double team off by attacking it. Yep. This is Martin here, good guard. Mm -hmm. But yeah. if you go, shoot your gun, and the tackle's supposed to get me. It's a no play. At what point right here are you sure this isn't any sort of play action? Because they're gonna try to, Right, yeah. they're gonna do the same thing, mm -hmm. give you the run action and then pull it out. Mm -hmm. So is there a, a moment there where you're like, I'm sure? Yep. Dallas has some tendencies to where they, we knew they was gonna run the ball. Mm -hmm. You see, I'm waiting a little mm -hmm. bit just to see. Yeah. And so I see right here, I get this coming down hard right here, I know I can go. I take it, shoot my gun, Yeah. TFL. I mean, that's textbook. Like even eight years into this thing, KG, do you still have to walk through this every day? You still have to, you still have to train your eyes and, and work on this fundamental? Every day, every OTA, you're trying to go back to the basics, get back to the fundamentals. And you can never get too good at it. Mm. You can never get too good at it. You just got to keep sharpening, sharpening your tools. KJ, the word I hear consistently out of you and the verbiage about this Seattle defense is speed to the football. Mm -hmm. And every play we look at, I mean, it's consistent. Mm -hmm. Is that always talked about, you know, 11 guys to the football, speed, speed, quickness to the ball? Well, it's a beautiful thing is when you watch the film and all 11 guys are in the camera view. Mm -hmm. uh, all, the guys, all 11 guys are in the camera view. And we just want to preach going fast. And one thing that helps guys play fast is film study. And when you're on the football field, reading your keys, so that's when you can really play fast. Guys get hesitant when they're unsure and not reading the right stuff. Me and Bobby have been doing a really good job for the past, this is his eighth year. We've just been killing it. Just been killing it, playing really well together. Seahawks doing a nice job with their run fits. As linebackers, you want to be able to trust the guy beside you. And I know that playing with Bobby for eight years, mm -hmm. I can trust him. I know he's going to do his job. He know I'm going to do mine. So that way, we can just play, play fast and just play off of one another. It looks like power. The guards coming, the guards pulling. You see that right away? Oh, yeah. My key right here is that lane. From the guard to the running back to Tom, you just key in that lane. And you go mm -hmm. as a linebacker, he, we're taught to shuffle, shuffle. Mm -hmm. Hands as a defender. Bobby turns it back to me. So that's where the teamwork with you and Bobby right here. I mean, it's just run fits, mm -hmm. basic run fits. Bobby's outside, Breen's got to come back inside. You've defeated the block, and here you are. Yep. The consistency with the technique of you and Bobby right here with your hands, it's almost identical. Yep. We're taught it. We're taught it. Ken Norton, he's a linebacker coach, played in the league for 13 years, won three Super Bowls, and he knows how it's done. Today's RPO game, you know, these run-pass options, 
maybe in my era, like Bobby Wagner would probably get chewed out by a coach for not firing his gun. Mm. Look at Bobby's weight. Yeah. He's waiting because, you know, there might be that quick slant behind him and stop behind him. Are you now trained to wait to see that handoff before you go? People understand the difference between the RPO and a play action. Mm -hmm. yeah. They can either, the RPO is a design run where he can pass the ball. Right. A play action is a pass. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a pass. And so Bobby, he has to stay back because they could throw that slant in his backside window. But the front side linebacker, has You're got, he got to play ball. Yeah. Yeah. He got to play ball. And Bobby, he can hold because we technically don't need him on this play. Mm -hmm. As you see Shamar, number 98, mm -hmm. when he gets his puller, he is flowing over the top to be the next mm -hmm. defender. That's mm -hmm. who I'm turning the ball back to. Using the D lineman to declare where the running back is going. Mm -hmm. Just let everything come to you and mirror the running back. But the one thing about watching Bobby here, not just on this play, mm -hmm. but he's so patient. What Bobby is really good at, and I have to steal this from his game, is being patient and just let everything come to you. He got to play ball. Yeah. I know that I can hold because we don't need him on this play. Mahomes out of the shotgun. The quick throw inside is tipped at the line of scrimmage and knocked down. Might have the longest arms in the NFL. He might. There's no one for ones. You can't take on a block and just think, okay. Give he, yourself up. Yeah, give yourself up. And so you got to feature blocks, just find a way to make plays. This stretch, stretch to the um, to our defensive left. Mm -hmm. I love playing behind Cliff because what Cliff did, he got vertical. So technically, Cliff has this C gap, mm -hmm. but as a linebacker, it's your responsibility to make the D lineman right. So if he goes inside, you got to come outside. I'm coming outside. You're playing off whatever he does. Yep. Play he off. can't really be wrong. You want him to stay. <laughs> you want him to stay <laughs> in this C gap, but if he does come in, I want my defensive lineman playing fast versus trying to be perfect. In the, on the run fit. You see Cliff take his shot right here. He takes that C gap, mm -hmm. I gotta take the D gap. And like I mentioned earlier, there's no one for ones. We mm -hmm. can't let anyone block us. And so I use my shoulder here, put my shoulder to the lineman. Well, you got the edge here. Yep. You're, you're setting it right now? Yep. Boom, set that edge. Keep your outside arm free. Yep, come here, make the play. That's it. But so much of your defense was penetration. Yeah. I mean, it was all about penetration, mm -hmm. especially in the run game. Yep to just disrupt it. Yep, and as a linebacker, you love that stuff because the lineman can't come off of you mm -hmm. as fast. Here you are out on the edge. Right. You're defeating this block on the edge mm -hmm. to win. It's the cardinal sin for a receiver to block a linebacker. If a receiver's blocking a linebacker, he doesn't need to be in the NFL. Right. And so, you just come out here, defeat a block, make a play. Well, you're on Joe Staley, these games with the 49ers. It's the good old days. It was the good old days, KJ. <laughs> when I, I, so there was about a four-year stretch here, yeah. you and the 49ers. It was must-see. It was the best football it in was. the NFL. Yeah, it was. And you knew it. You, you, you knew you had to take all of your game up yeah. a notch against this group. It was run game versus good defense. They had Patrick Willis, Navarro Bowman, mm -hmm. Frank Gore, Hall yeah. of Famer. You're on the ball linebacker, and sometimes you got to give a little bit of ground. Yep. Just a shed. Yep. Give ground to gain ground. Mm -hmm. That fundamental right there, KJ, you can't really play that block any better. I mean, your leverage, you're underneath them right here, your hands are inside, you're giving mm -hmm. a little bit, now you're able to shed yep. and get off the block to take down Gore. Yep. And as a defender, you want that near foot up, you want that, that power foot. You see my left foot, mm -hmm. you want that foot got to be up so you can be your anchor. Can't drive you. Exactly. And just to feed blocks and come off and make plays. KJ, do you work on that pull move where you get them and you pull them back towards you? And that's kind of, it, it comes natural to me. We don't, we don't work yeah. on it, it's just a natural yeah. thing for you. You can see it, I mean, that's a great job right there, shedding them. Quick snap, Lacey gets it. He drags KJ right inside the 30 down to the 27 yard line. You play so much nickel, so it's, it's you and Bobby off the ball inside. My key right here, you see the tight end, the tight end blocks out, I fit inside and I turn it back to Cam. I'm the flat defender, flat defender always turns back the ball. I turn it back, he didn't decide mm -hmm. to block me. Appreciate that. If you watch this play, Arizona ran the same play on us the week before they scored a touchdown on us. Mm -hmm. Larry Fitzgerald ran a fake crunch and go. 
play fake by Rosen. Stops, looks, got Larry Fitzgerald. One hand catch in the end zone. Touchdown, Arizona Cardinals. Wow. Here comes Dallas. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Same part of the you field. You think they copied this from it's, Arizona? It's a copycat league. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it, could be, it could be one week. They could lift that play and just. It's a copycat league. They always steal plays. And if a team beats you on a play the week before or three weeks before, they're going to repeat it. Well, they do a lot with this 85, this Nate Brown, of chipping yep. in the run game. Yep. So they're trying to give you that look yeah. right now, right? And we're going to use our, you know, blocking the receiver to block and all that. So that's a good, that's a good try by Dallas. Mm -hmm. but, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it ain't where you got to But you, up. I mean, you honor the fake yep. with a step. But then you immediately open your hips and get depth right here. Once you recognize it, is it now just trying to get underneath this, or are you trying to get to his upfield shoulder here? I'm trying to get to his upfield shoulder and go hands to hands. I don't want to look back because he's throwing the ball to the receiver. And so I want to go hands to hands, match my hands with his hands to break up that pass. I've been taught that since rookie year. But were you thinking there as, you, as you're chasing him, oh boy, th th this is not good? I honestly thought it was a PI. I thought it was a pass. <laughs> you gave him a little, you gave him a little bump. I gave him a little bump. A little bump. And uh, I looked around, like any flags. Yeah. And uh, the coast was clear. So when you when you got beat by Arizona on this play, for a touchdown, mm -hmm. are you anticipating Dallas could line up in something and, and, and actually run this? I'm not anticipating it, mm. but a light bulb should click in your head. Okay. Hey, we got beat on this, so be aware. Be aware of it.